and welcome back to Sparkly Pink. So I'm sorry I'm scaring you with no makeup here, but today I wanted to show you how to tan your face sunlessly with the Temp2 AirPod. This is in the natural glowing one. And it looks like this. It looks just like the regular Temp2 pods. I have a full tutorial on the foundation and blush and bronzer and all that stuff, but this is actually a sunless tanner. And the gizmo inside looks all the same and it's very liquidy. So you're going to use the Temp2 system to airbrush this self tanner onto the face. And I'm so sorry about the echo, but I'm in the bathroom. Maybe if I open the door, will that make it a little bit better? So I wanted to show you guys how I self tan my face to match the rest of my body, whether I'm self tanning my body or, you know, going out in the pool. Either way, I always put a ton of SPF on my face. So my face is always way whiter or lighter than the rest of my body. And it looks a little weird. I can usually use makeup to kind of even it out, but this is such an easier alternative that I wanted to show you guys how I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and prime the top little clicky thing here just like with the other products a little bit comes out on the bottom so be careful about that and we're going to be washing our hands after all this just in case any of it gets on there so then i'm going to click it into our wand right here we're going to make sure that this is turned down to the very lowest setting possible to read off the instructions a little bit for you just so you get a handle of like what we're dealing with here it says it is a professional airbrush tanning and perfect sun-kissed skin is finally at your fingertips easy to use air pop face tan is applied in the innovative temp to airbrush makeup system for a flawless streakless tan every time this revolutionary light tanning formula also allows you to build up your color gradually and deepen your color to your desired perfected look it allows you to spray at an angle that goes on evenly and provides a streak-free, buildable tan for the face. The fast drying formula sprays on with a tint, slightly tinted hue so that you can see where you're applying it, but it won't stain any of your clothes or anything like that. A perfect golden tan develops within an hour and lasts up to a week and is infused with an innovative fragrance complex that helps to eliminate the traditional sunless tan aroma. That is a big plus for me because when you use self tanner, it always has that, you know the smell. If you sound this tan, you totally know what I'm talking about. Now to prep my skin, I have already shaved my face. Yes, I said it, I shaved my face. I use these little gizmos right here. I think I got this at Walmart for a couple of bucks and it's got like a tiny little razor blade and I just use it just on the side here to get the little peach fuzz that it's not like dark man beard or anything like that but I get those peach fuzzy things and this also helps to promote cell regeneration and sloth away all the dead skin and all that stuff so, um, so I went ahead and did that and I was going to exfoliate my skin but as you can see it's already getting a little bit red and kind of pissed off at me for doing the shaving aspect of it so I'm just going to leave it as is I I exfoliated last night so I feel like it's good enough and I feel pretty smooth there is no product on my face right now so I want it to adhere right to my skin you don't want a barrier in between um, it says that depending on the usage each pod can last up to 30 face only applications so that's really an amazing thing um, what else is there to say I'm gonna go ahead and turn the system on and show you guys how I apply it I like to keep my hair back I even like to put a headband so that all the little tiny little pieces are back. So I'm going to make sure that there isn't any big clumps like gonna come out, you know, cause it, when I prime it, it kind of like releases the pressure and sometimes a little bit comes out on the end and you don't want like a big splotch going out. So I like to shake it a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it on. So right now it's just the air coming out and it's on a very low setting. Just like with applying the foundation, you're gonna wanna keep it at least a hand width away from your face and do it in little circle motions around the area that you want to apply it to. Pulling back on the trigger just ever so slightly, I'm going to go into circles and I'm sorry for the lighting and everything. I'm in the bathroom. I'm not normally in here filming, so um, I apologize if it's not super clear, but let's go ahead and let's get this started. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Almost feels a little cold when it applies to the skin because it's like very liquidy compared to like 
the foundations and stuff like that. So it's very refreshing. I'm gonna bring it down onto my neck a little bit, just so it's all even. getting in my eye area I put on a ton of concealer there anyway but I am worried that I want to make sure I hit up right under my eyebrow because that would be a weird area to have like super white you want that area to be highlighted but you can go back in with some highlighter later make sure that it kind of gives like a light wet sheen Just gonna go over once very light I'm going very lightly on this trigger I'm not I've gone over a couple times that's because I'm not putting a ton of it on all at once I want to do light layers and make sure it's nice and even not getting wet drops or over uh, applicated areas I'm gonna turn it up a little bit and let this dry for a second just so it has a, a faster air pressure and then just go around the face to let it dry and set in it's just air here. So now it's been like a minute with just the air kind of drying it off. I'm going to put the plug back into my pod and put that away for storage. Now I'm going to take some toilet paper, paper towel, towel, whatever you want to do, and lightly pat my skin to remove any of the excess. Little bit of a tacky finish but this kind of helps remove that excess so we're not getting an over abundance of application anywhere or however you want to call it this I feel like this helps even it out now you're gonna want to wait 10 to 15 minutes before putting on any moisturizers makeup serums anything like that you're not gonna want to wash your face right away I would I would personally wait like six to eight hours to fully bathe and soap and everything like that just as you would with regular self tanners or spray tans or anything like that because if you're washing before then you're just taking off all of the product that's helping to tint the skin so you're basically defeating the whole purpose of going through this whole step and that is kind of silly so I've patted everything off I'm going to wait to apply any makeup or lotions and yeah so that is it. it is super easy to do do not be intimidated by this at all I was at first I'll be honest but after I've done it a couple of times and seeing the results it just evens everything out very smoothly very gradually which I love I don't like spraying things on and just being like totally brown in one second because number one you look kind of weird everybody knows it's fake and two, I want something that's a little more natural and kind of like blends nicely with my skin already skin tone. Hey guys, so welcome back. It is the next day of doing my spray tan on my face. I have nothing on my face but a little bit of a moisturizer. So as you can tell, I'm definitely more even to my regular skin tone on my face. It did not irritate my skin. It doesn't streak. It doesn't look fake. I don't think it looks fake. It just gives like a light tint of color to my face. I could probably go in and do another full spray today and still be pretty close to my natural body shade. But I think I'm going to be pretty good with um, getting my makeup to go on very smoothly and everything like that. Um, the red lace you see is just the way my skin is. And... Um, like I said, it doesn't irritate my skin. This is something that's soft enough or gentle enough that you could use every day. I probably won't be doing that because I'm not that dark. I would look really funny with like a darker face and then a lighter body. Um, so I think this is probably the color I would like to maintain. It says that the color lasts up to a week and I feel like I do get a week's worth out of this. Um, I really love that there's no line of demarcation wherever the spray ended it just kind of blended all together i think when you pat it just kind of diffuses the color a little bit better so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found it helpful i absolutely love this and i'm totally addicted to my temp 2 system again i have a full tutorial i'll link that down below if you're looking for some more looks let me know about that as well give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye